feel in a danger. It's like you find that your house is burning. Do you mind if you leave your house from window or from door? Leaving the country is not the choice. It's not my choice. I've been forced to leave. During the American army in Iraq, it was really hard. These people were married more than 20 years, they had successful careers, they had a home. The war took all of this from them. But I've been lucky. It was the American door, it was open. So I came through the American door. My name is Abdul Wahab Abdullah Najim. I am from Iraq. I'm living now in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's one of the beautiful places I've ever seen. I think in a small town like that, you still can have this feeling of belonging. People, they were very nice. They say hello to all the neighbors in the morning. I find smiling faces everywhere. I'm Marina Pesciriano. I'm a SOB Office Coordinator of Bridge Refugee Services Affiliate of Episcopal Migration Ministries. The people I work with, they are very strong, very motivated, and it's not hard for me just to guide them a little bit to get to where they want to be. I find the job for Amazon through the Bridge Office. For the first two months, I work really hard. After months, I've been converted from temporary job to be a full-time job. I proved that to them that I can do it. Coming to United States, he had two goals, to get a job and to have a house. The first day we came here, we were excited. This is our home. We always come on my off days. We paint the house, we fix a few things here. Every room, there is a fingerprint. This is my son, he do it. This is my wife, she did it. They need to have it to reclaim their life, to know they're not planning to go anywhere. This is our house. My daughter, she wants to become as a civil engineer. Ahmed, he's 20 years old now. He's doing his GED, and he wants to go to university. My little son, Kumail, he came with not even a word in English. He picked up the language very fast. My kids now, they feeling more comfortable. I am proud for them. I want to show them that if I succeed, they can succeed also. If a family coming from another country can pull their resources together to get a home, to get a job, to get where they want to be, it's just inspiring. I think it's great to remind people that American dream is still alive. It's just how far you want to reach for it. Walking with my wife, I told her, is it really that we are here now? It's really incredible. And I am proud of myself. It's a happy life for me now. <laughs>